I am very much a grateful patient. Um, to say that I have had capable and caring doctors at Mercy Hospital is a complete understatement and does not do them justice. Um, I just got like tingly now. I've got some really good people that very much care for me and I would not have had this care, I don't believe, anywhere else. The first heart attack was like a blur. The second heart attack, um, that one was scary. I could tell it was the same problem I had the first time. I drove myself to the hospital and I said, my name's Tim David. Uh, I had this before, it was my main artery. I'm having a heart attack. At that time, I remember uh, everything went black. I had my arms being moved, and but I couldn't see anything. And I remember it almost felt like I had a cafeteria tray put on my chest. I hurt, I jolted up, but what was happening was they were actually using the electric shock. And uh, I remember at the end of my bed was Dr. Matthew Cuddy and she was gonna help me through this and wanted me to know who she was. And then I couldn't see anymore, but I heard the doctor saying, uh, this isn't good folks, we've got 30 seconds. I remember a very much a burning in my chest, and it was a very painful, painful burn. It was like, like a place, somebody placed a big chunk of lava in my chest, it just very painful. Uh, this one was 100% blocked, main artery, and um, that's what they call the widow maker. The second one, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy to be part of all of that and wonder how or you, you, you just wonder why. April 16th, 17th, and 18th were uh, days of our life that will never be forgotten, those dates. Um, he had a light cough, and he came to me on his own. He's like, I think I need to see a doctor. He's like, my cough is getting really bad. And um, I don't think Tim and I slept that night. Biopsy was very difficult because if it was a seven inch mass between his lung and his heart. So it was not possible to remove it. And she told us that it was in fact cancer. She just didn't know what it was. And she got up to give me a hug. And both the boys are just like, and I'm like, it's, it's not me. <laughs> what do you do for your kid, you know? And I, I feel like that's where the, the grateful patient comes in, because I'm not the patient. But I feel like I got, I got the care um, and, and the, the time. When you find out that your, you know, 21 or two year old kid's got cancer and he's just starting his life, I mean, it it just changes everything stops. The mercy touch for me was the beyond care that they gave for me. They cared about me to the point where I had doctors calling to check up on me days later when. Brandon wasn't even her patient really anymore. The mercy touch for me is the above and beyond that the doctors give to not only the patients, but also the family.